Hi friends. Today we will learn another one part of the reflection of light. Reflection of light from both the plane surface and the spherical surface. Reflection of light from the plane surface and the spherical surface. In the previous class, we learned that the types of reflection of light, regular reflection, irregular reflection, regular reflection from the smooth polished surface and irregular reflection from the uneven surface or the rough surface. Today, we will learn about the reflection of light from the smooth polished surface first, light from the plane mirror. Reflection of light from plane mirror from plane mirror where plane mirror is a smooth well polished flat reflecting surface made by glass made by glass what happens when light incidents on a plane mirror let us consider this is a plane mirror let the mirror be m1 this is the point p from which the light ray incidents on the mirror perpendicularly and that is on the same path in the opposite direction only and in another one light ray that are coming from the point P incident on the mirror at O and reflects along OQ. If the observer placed his eye at Q, then what happened if the observer placed his eye at Q, then the observer observes that light rays coming from the point P prime. So, P prime will be the image of the point P, P prime will be the image of the point P. That is why the image is formed on the plane mirror just behind the mirror that is the P prime. So, this image will be virtual, virtual erect, erect and equal size and equal size. These are the basic properties or the characteristics of the image formed by the plane mirror. Virtual image, erect image, equal size image is formed image will be formed just behind the mirror. But what happen in case of the reflection of light from the curved surface like the spherical mirror from curved surface, curved surface. If we consider the mirror has a curved reflecting surface that is called the spherical mirror. This one is the spherical mirror which has the inward reflecting surface that is M1 mirror and light ray coming parallel to the principal axis of the mirror after reflection they meet at a point or cut the principal axis at a point and the point that is the principal focus as the light rays converge after reflection from the mirror. So, the mirror will be the converging mirror that is the concave mirror this is for the concave mirror concave mirror spherical mirror this is concave mirror in case of the convex mirror another one type of mirror is here also where the outward surface is the reflecting surface and light rays coming parallel to the principal axis after reflection from it appear to diverge from a point on the principal axis and here also as the light rays diverge after reflection from the point. So, this is called the diverging mirror, this is called the diverging mirror after reflection light rays diverges. This is M2, this is called convex mirror. So, what happens in case of reflection of light from this 
now consider first one ray diagram that this is be number one ray diagram of formation of the image in case of the concave mirror the image will be formed at the different position in this ray diagram when light is approaching towards parallel to the principal axis that means we can assume that the object is at infinite distance for this case when the object is at infinite distance we assume that the parallel beam of light is coming from the object and after reflection from the concave mirror the light rays meet at a point on the focus so here the object distance u this is equal infinity or at infinity infinity so the v image distance will be the focal length that means at the focus so real inverted image will be formed real inverted inverted and diminished diminished image now the object moves towards the mirror now the object is beyond the center of curvature of it that means the object distance is more than the radius of curvature then what happen in case of the concave mirror when the object approaches towards the mirror towards the pole of the mirror the image the image moves away from the mirror that means when object distance decreases the image distance increases or vice versa now you get up then the r radius of curvature of the spherical mirror this is the pole p this is f and equal distance point the f equal r by 2 that is c now the object is here object is here now the light ray parallel to the principal axis falls on the mirror there are two standard rule if the light is parallel to the principal axis falls on a mirror then after reflection it passes to the principal focus of it now it passes to the principal focus of the spherical mirror let the mirror be m1 here we always use the term m1 for the spherical mirror and m2 for the convex mirror another one light ray approaches from it through the center of curvature of it and the path remains unaltered path remains unaltered it moves towards this and after reflection it passes following the same path so this will be the image of the object a b this is b prime a prime so here there also real inverted image will be formed real inverted and diminished image will be formed but the object distance will be object distance denoted by v this is greater than the focal length of the mirror but but v less than r in between f and c the image will be formed here also the same characteristics of image will be found real inverted and diminished number three what happen if the object is at the center of curvature what happen if the object is at the center of curvature then what happen okay this is m1 now here u equal r this is f this is p and equidistant point C, F and P, this is C. Now the object is here. Now the object is here, light ray parallel to the principal axis, after reflection passes through the principal focus of it, that is the F. Another one light ray that will pass through the focus of it, F, pass through the focus of it and after reflection it will be parallel that is due to the reversibility property of light it will be parallel it will be parallel this will be parallel they intersect each other so here the ab that is the ab is the object and b prime a prime will be the image equal size image will be formed let us see that the image will be almost equal in size the image will be almost equal in size so real inverted inverted and equal size image will be formed 
equal size image. So here V equal also R. What happened? Let's see here the object is at infinity. Image will be formed at the focus. Here object beyond C, the image in between F and C. Here at C, the image will form here the at the center of curvature at the C. Okay. 